Hello everybody, it's me Miska Max and welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how to save your character AI chat to a text file. So, you guys might have been asking, how do I do that? The character AI website doesn't give me the option to save my character AI chat to a text file so I can read it offline or share it. It only gives me the option to save it inside the website but that might be a problem to someone because you can't share it with anybody and if the, your internet goes out or you i don't know your account gets banned or the website disappears one day you can't access it anymore so what can you do so you might have searched up something like this how to save your character yeah, i chat to a text file and found something like this and didn't got any further because it just shows you how to save it on the website and every other link you checked on still didn't work so I'll be showing you how to do that so as an example I'll be using the Mario chatbot right here so you might have chatted a little bit so um, if you did chat a little bit longer than usual there might be some problems and I'll show you how to fix it before we get to step one so the character AI website loads in the chats in small chunks so this isn't the, your entire chat it loads in the further you scroll up so more chunks load in like in minecraft so further you explore the world so more chunks load in and here's just a small chunk the small standard chunk when you open the website so it doesn't take too long to load but if you scroll up take notice of this scroll bar you scroll up and plop suddenly it scrolls back down again that's because this area just loaded in and see you can now scroll up again and again it, uh, and you need to repeat it until you're at the top of the chat this is usually by the standard signature phrase of the chatbot that it greets you with when you first chat with it and yeah you can test it out by just scrolling way up 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 until nothing loads in anymore nothing and then we can start this is step one you need to press right click then inspect element use this uh, small button up here this might look different in chrome or in firefox i'll be using edge because it comes on every windows pc and yeah you will be needing a pc for this anyway this won't work on smartphone and yeah so select an element uh, for the page to inspect or control shift c so you do this then you need to get over this chatting area until the box looks exactly like this then you left click then it should highlight this area you press on, uh, on edit in html press ctrl a press ctrl c so you have copied the entire Thing right here this entire long HTML code then we'll be needing some text programs just use the standard uh, editor slash notepad from Windows of your more advanced just use um, notepad plus plus or whatever else you want and yeah so I already prepared something so I already have something put into the video description that you can just copy and paste just for me I have made this example, so I'll be using it in Notepad++, it should look like this. So, first step. Save under, and then the folder. I already made a folder right here. And make sure to rename this as you, whatever you want. Put your character name here, like I have Mario64. And then... This is important, put a dot, and then a HTML. This is important. Don't do any uh, spelling mistakes on this one, or it might not work at all. And now, save. Now it should have saved as an HTML. Great. So we'll take this file and open it here in Edge. This is how on the standard format I put in the comments should look like. So. Ignore this. This is just a declaration for the file so it knows it's an HTML file. This is uh, telling the HTML file that it is in English. That's what the EN means. And character AI in general is in English. So don't need to change this. So um, to start editing the HTML file, we need to get into the header and 
This is for the UTFs, uh, UTF-8 character format. That's like what letters on your keyboard, what symbols exist and whatnot. UTF-8 is the current one, the most up-to-date one, which supports all and uh, everything, including emojis and all. So don't change that. The title. The title is whatever will... This title... Uh, this tile here is this character text. So I'll be calling it Mario64. Okay, now we get into the coloring. So the background color I have set as gray. You can use, I don't know, whatever you want. Uh, you can use uh, every human like word like orange. Never mind, I already used orange for the uh, title. Um, I just use white. Oh, I hope I wrote that right. Um, save. Reload the page. See, worked. So, um, yeah, the H1 is for this orange text here. And only that. So, if you want this like red, like Mario. Do that. And the P is for our character chats, which will be importing any minute. So, this will be here. Great, now we can get into saving character chat. So, now get into, uh, going from the head file to the body file, we get to uh, smaller than and then bigger as in between H1. In between these two here, we will be having this. This will be this text, and I will be also changing it to Mario64 at the top. It doesn't matter what you put in there, but it's, uh, it's just so you know it's this character. Since we uh, haven't saved um, this part right up here, just the chat. So, yeah. Um, save, and Mario64. Great. Um... Now the character chat we have copy and pasted, right? This will be in this box here. I know it will look a little bit um, bad, unstructured, or however you might want to call this, but this is like it's supposed to be. Saved. Boom! Here is your entire chat saved. And this is where most of you guys will be happy and satisfied, because this is exactly... Oh, you save a chat, but there's more. So, whatever happens, if you send this to a friend, or your internet is out, or whatever. So, I'll be turning the Wi-Fi off and reloading the page. Okay. And this is still saved to the cache, but we will to reopen the page. Oops. Right now, without internet, into another browser, like here. Suddenly... This doesn't have to do with the fact that it's in Firefox now, but uh, currently has the entire chat cached into the system's memory, so it will still show up. But if you don't have internet and it's not cached anywhere right now, then it will look like this, and this will be pretty ugly without the uh, graphics because they're not loading in. And if the website will go down anytime, the images will be gone too. So. How do we fix that? Simple. First of all, we will need internet for this. So, you're not off the hook now. We still need the Wi-Fi. Or whatever you're connected to. And here's the page. So we right-click again, and now save. And now we will be choosing save web page, but as a single file, as a MHTML file. And now we will be putting this into our uh, character AI folder. A HTML file is an all-containing file, like a zip file. It's like not only the website, uh, the basic HTML file, it's the entire website, including the images. To uh, show you guys this even better, I'll be using other format. Save uh, complete. We'll be saving it right here. Great. 
Now for the example, this is uh, our file right now that we saved, the m.html file. But this is what it will contain. First, we will have this uh, page, the normal HTML page we created, and it will also contain the files, like in this folder, where we have both the icons, both the uh, images being saved right into it. And these two images and this HTML file are now contained in this one single mar.64.html file that we can now open without any problems in our Edge browser. This m.html file is for some reason not compatible in Firefox, so if we would be trying to open it in here, it won't work, can't open it. So keep that in mind. So now we've saved the web page completely. Save from when we don't have internet, and now you could share it with basically everyone without any problems. But you might want to have it as a, not as a HTML file, maybe in a, as a text file. No problem. Just select uh, print and then choose save as PDF. Okay. Now make sure it's uh, saved into to the right format. I have. A4, that's the standard German format, European format we have here. You can choose if it's like horizontal, a portrait, or landscape. I would recommend portrait. So make sure it's all pages. Or if you want to leave some out, you can do that in here too. Make sure headers and footers are in there. And background graphics. I don't know if background... Uh, Graphics will do anything, uh, but maybe you will, instead of putting a background color or anything, you will be using a graphic or something. So make sure this is all saved. And then press save. Choose the folder. Boom. Open. See? No problem. It's all safe now into a PDF file that you can now share with basically everyone. Great. So, you might want to use it in Word. <laughs> I know I keep on adding stuff, but that's all for the completity of it. So, just search up PDF to doc converter. Since I hope you probably won't use, have used any personal information into your chats, uh, I would recommend not using that on character I, you know, private information. You don't know who it's hand it's and get into, who, uh, who it gets sold to and all. So um, I would con uh, choose Convertio. It's the website I have the best experience with. And then drag and drop it in here. Great, convert to whatever file you need. A dog. Um, a word. Ah, never mind. Just do dog. You know, we don't need to overly complicate it. Wait for it to convert. Download. Save as. Open, please. And boom. We now have it saved as a text file. It might now not look as good as it was before anymore because the HTML didn't convert correctly over. But trust me, this will be looking a lot better as if you would just uh, go to the page, press Control A, Control C, and then what do I know? Put into a um, Google Doc, you meant. Or if you would just do it from this side directly, like this, this would be. I'll just show you how horrible this would look like. Boom. Yeah. This would not be looking good. So, um, yeah, now you have preserved your entire chat. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope this guide came in useful for you guys and 
拜拜。